what's good YouTube uh, back with another video this will be my uh, pickup for like fall winter 16 um, ever since really my last video so uh, what I've been picking up uh, just like uh, jackets bunch of uh, sweatshirt kind of kind of hoodies uh, a couple of tees and a pair of shoes and a pair of jeans all right so uh, let's get into it First of all, let's start off with the jeans because they're closest to me. But I got these at Macus. So Macus released their first pair of private label denim over the Thanksgiving break. So when I went, they actually released this pair. Um, so I went down and scooped it up. So this is just a plain black uh, pair of jeans. Uh, really, really skinny fit. So if you ever plan on buying it, go at least a size up. Um, I got these in the 31, I'm usually 29-30, um, just to give you guys any um, idea of what size to get. So these are uh, over dyed black denim, so these won't fade as fast as your normal denim. This is similar to like the Acne Studios um, black or uh, Stay Cash jeans. And the uh, hem, so um, I got these hemmed and a little bit tapered to get a little more of a crop feel. Yeah, so I think typically these are like a 34 inseam, so for the tall people, they should be good for you and you can still have some stacks. Um, for your shorter people like me, maybe you'd have it hemmed and tapered or cropped if you want them short. So next, we're getting to the Paxson Fear of God tee. So uh, this drop was a little bit underwhelming. Um, I really like this t-shirt, I thought it was going to fit like the first collection did, but this one didn't shrink as much, um, but this is a really good cotton that they used. Um, the first collection was just, uh, I guess it was just as thick, but this one is like a ribbed feel, it, feel has like a ribbed feel to it, so um, I picked this up, I needed a striped shirt, um, this sort of did the job, it was kind of too big. And I got a size small, um, I'm like 5'4", um, and 140 pounds, and size small is kind of big, maybe I should have got extra small. But yeah, um, I think it was like 50 bucks, buy for retail. The next pickup is just the Macus um, Champion uh, logo tees, 35 bucks off the website. Um, it's okay material, like it fades quite a bit. Um, I don't really care, man. You could use this as a vintage shirt or just a shirt to just really just throw on go to uh, maybe do groceries, uh, get groceries or do errands in. It's kind of just like a relaxing shirt. Not the most comfortable, but uh, it's getting softer the more I w wash it. So yeah, just a small Macus logo on the chest over here. I got the champion branding over here. I usually uh, roll it up one, one time so you can't really see it anyway. And uh, Macus branding. Here on the back collar. Yeah, so Macus logo T. 35 bucks. Got me a size medium. Alright, for the next three, these are all the same crew neck, just different colors. And I'm wearing one right now. So Essence had an incredibly good sale. I I hope that some some of you uh, jumped on in and picked up some of these. Uh, some of the clothes for absolute steel. Like inc incredible steel, man. incredible steel. All right. So these, so these are the Acne Studios Casey crew net. So I got four of them. I got the I had the gray. I got the vintage blue, the regular black, and the vintage black. So this vintage vintage black is kind of like a dark gray. Uh, the black is a good black. Doesn't really fade. Blue is like a faded navy. I, I like this way more than a plain navy because that, that's too bold for me. But I have like a really subtle navy. And my school colors are um, navy and silver. So if I ever go to a football game or any other game, I can wear this and I'll look like a complete tool when um, school clothes that cost expensive that aren't good. All right, well, well, anyway. So I managed to get these for around $80 each. Some of them are cheaper, some of them are more. Had the gray and the black were the most expensive. I think they're like 87. The navy was on final sale 70% off, for like 67. And this uh, black, this 
Vintage Black was actually, uh, I think, 75 ish dollars. And because I got all this, it was over $200. I got free shipping. Um, they do really good shipping. DHL Express, I think it's like two business days to the US from Canada. Um, so Essence is really good on that. And their customer service is really excellent. Like, um, at first, my first order, I didn't have a gray one. And I paid shipping and kind of regretted it. So I went and um, contacted it. I cancelled it and uh, I placed a new order with this and it was all done within a few hours. Actually they got back to me at like 5am their time so that's that's great. So, moving on from these, all right for the last three, you may have actually seen this one, I think I showed this off, uh, but this is the Macus Lakewood hoodie, one of my favorite, fav favorites of fall winter. 16 and no no regrets on this one man this is incredible french terry uh, hoodie oversized um, black i've watched it a shit ton of times it still looks the same french terry is soft uh, the cut is amazing quarter zip i went in detail on this uh, hoodie i think in my other video so if you want to have an in-depth look at this please check it out another thing for mac is so I got their anniversary hoodie. So last year, Mac is their uh, five year anniversary. So they um, had like a party and uh, released this hoodie, which has the V or five in the back, Roman numeral five. So this is just uh, printed on the Champion Universe weave. Uh, pretty good quality. It breaks in as you wash it. It's a lot softer than it used to be after I washed it the first time. And it's a complete like uh, Terry, not Terry, um, Least material so it keeps you a lot warmer than any terry so the only problem i really have with this hoodie is that the screen printing over here on the bottom is starting to crack so recently i've been just washing it and hanging it rather than tumble drying it because i don't really want to risk it other than that uh this is a great hoodie champion's really um getting big probably because of Kanye west but i really like champion's reverse weave and their uh terry reverse weave if you didn't check it out on Essence, man, they had a huge sale on all the Champion Universal Weave. Everything was like 50% and off, up off, off, usually final sale. But you crap and grab like some of their $100 hoodies for like 40 bucks. So if you miss out on that, oh man, I wish I, I wish I told you guys, man. I wish I told you guys. So last but not least, we have this Palace Cotton Windbreaker that I got from Livestock. So this is the last one in stock, size small, and this released, um, I think, part of the international kind of drop around the world, so, or in LA or something, I don't even remember, um, Kyron told me something like that. So it um, has the Palace International embroidery on the side, and yeah, it's about all the branding there is in here, other than just a little P on the zip. Side says palette, size small. So I was on Livestock's uh, website. So I was on Livestock's website. Uh, I wasn't looking at Palace because you have some weird, weird steals on Palace on their website. So I went, uh, went on and then I saw this piece for 175 Canadian. Um, so I thought, oh, that's a pretty good price. And it translated to around 100. 20 something USD, 130 USD with uh, around $20 shipping for today. So I was like, maybe I should pick this up. I don't know if it's a good price or not. I don't have any uh, palace clothing or pieces and I don't have any um, windbreakers. So I thought maybe it was a good idea to pick it up. I checked on off the hook and they have this exact piece for $295 Canadian dollars. So I don't know what the fuck is going on with livestock, but they have some weird ass steals at the round, most random times. Um, so I picked this up and I got it for a hundred Canadian off, essentially. Something like that. This is also a very, very good windbreaker. I've been wearing it almost daily during the fall and winter because it's been windy as fuck over here. So yeah, Palace Cotton Windbreaker. And for the shoes, I have one that I really want to show off. Actually, I have three, 
two more. Oh, give me, give me a second. Totally forgot about these. All right, so we'll get into these first uh, from when I first got them to uh, now. So we have the Palette Pros, um, the black and white leather pair. So I got this off and this is the last one available and they had it like months after the uh, spring summer drop. And this is like one of my biggest regrets of not buying over the spring and summer. Uh, so when I, I found it on N, my size, last one, retail, I jumped on it and I got it. So it was around 200, uh, not 200, $150 plus like $12 shipping. So it was $145 plus $12 shipping. So it was like a $157-ish. Yeah, man, can't pass up on these. Um, great shoe. Um, they're not very comfortable. But it's a really chill kind of shoe wear daily basis to go on. And next, I have the Converse 1970s Chuck Taylor. So I bought these on eBay for 40 bucks, barely used. The only thing is that the guy like wrote his initials on it in the middle. But I mean, I don't really care because no one's really gonna see the inside of a shoe. But these, compared to Chuck Taylors, I, I'm telling you, these are way, way better, way better. The fact that I got these under retail, like more than 50% off, plus, uh, yeah, man, this is, this is just crazy. Um, okay, let me get into some details with you. So, first of all, the shoe itself just doesn't collapse. Like, the, the Chuck Taylor, the high, is just, just, they look like this the entire time. They usually look like that. With these, they stick up. They have a very thick outside uh, structure. Uh, what else? The midsole is a lot thicker and it's off-white. So, off so if you get these fucked up and you get them dirty, they're still going to the same because it's off-white and it ain't white. So you don't have to worry about it looking brand new. Plus, who doesn't like the truck speed up anyway? And then there's uh, the laces. The laces are thicker and like off-white. Um, the toe cap is different. It's not as, I don't know how to say it. The, the entire shoe is just different. Um, there's also some stitching over here, extra support. And the biggest difference for me is that these are just comfortable, man. If you feel the insole of this, they're squishy, man. You walk in these, you can walk in these way longer than you could in any Chuck Taylor. Unless you get the Luna ones. I've, I've never tried the Chuck Taylor 2s. But dude, these, these are incredible, man. The insoles are squishy, man. The, the midsole is thicker. Good good for the colder winter days when you have snow. Like the entire upper is thicker, way better built. The nickel for eyelets. The entire construction of the shoe is way better. Way, way better. Let me get, um, let me get them. So these are my girlfriend's um, Chuck Taylor Lowe's. You know, the most basic of the basic. All right, so just, just look at this toe box. Look at this toe box. Look at this toe box, like side to side. It's just horrible. They're, and look at these eyelets. Let me see if you can see this. Look at these eyelets. They look like aluminum. Look at these. Shining nickel. Just the, look at the thickness of the sole. The thickness. And then look at these. See the comparison? Look at this construction, just just flimsy, like one piece of fabric, two pieces of fabric at least, maybe. And this, this is just like thick. It's incredible. This is such a huge upgrade from the um, regular flimsy Chuck Taylors. So if you're ever deciding on what Chuck Taylors to get, I would recommend the 1970s, even though they're like 30, 40 bucks over. You can always find them for a better view online too, just search eBay or something. Last but not least, I'm wearing them right now, but I got the OGMDs from 2017. Oh man, this was like one of my biggest regrets of not picking up in 2016. I saw the first photos and I thought these were like the ugliest shoes I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know why I thought that, I just did. I was like, it was really weird, like when I first saw it, Bro, those are like flat. The, the pictures that came out made them look like this. And, it was like, and the, I don't know. It was just a weird, weird shoe when it first came out. It's 
So, I mean, now it's a huge regret, but I'm glad that it re-released it so I could grab a pair and all my brother could grab a pair and other people wanted to grab a pair. So, yeah, I'm glad uh, they re-released those. So the OG and these, we have the Chuck Taylor 970s, the Palace Pros, the Palace Windbreaker, we have all of the Mac things, the Mac Hoodie, the Mac T, the uh, four Acme Studios crew names, the Mac is um, denim, and the uh, Packs and Fair got tea. That's um, basically what I got. Uh, I also have another pair of shoes coming in around Wednesday. I can show you them. I can show them off around Thursday, Friday, as um, whether or not I get to recording and uploading a video. So, yeah, if I do, the video should be up next week. Um, the weekend or something like that. So stay tuned. I have more videos coming for the spring summer um, If you guys want me to talk about the Supreme Louis Vuitton collab, I will um, It's kind of iffy to me, but yeah, I'll talk about it. Um, just let me know uh, Don't forget to uh, leave a like subscribe if you want um, Notifications for new videos